Even the chilly wind could not blow away the passion of the petitioner of Playfair, a new advocacy campaign for parks formally launched with a rally at City Hall on February 28th. The campaign leading up to 2021 mayoral election focuses on an increase to the expense budget for the parks department, which would baseline funding for park repair and park worker positions. It says the investment in green spaces would improve air quality, create resilient neighborhoods, and brings New Yorkers closer to nature. More money for parks! Yeah. More than 100 protesters arrived at the city hall about a quarter to 12, demanding the city to put more money, 100 million, into the park department to protect the environment for all New Yorkers. New York may be known as a concrete jungle, but throughout its five boroughs, thousands of recreational parks and playgrounds make up 14% of NYC's land. However, the Parks Department only received a meager 0.59% of the total city budget last year. For bigger players such as Central Park and Prospect Park, they become more dependent on public-private partnerships as government funding have been cut over the years. For smaller ones, average city park hasn't seen a major red in the past two decades, even though more than 20% of the park bridges had serious deterioration. According to a 2018 study, The Pulse of Our Parks, 88% of Brooklyn parks did not have public Wi-Fi, 40% did not have a conference station, and 11% did not have access to a drinking fountain. So the campaign is to call for, um, to play fair with our city's uh, park budget. The biggest challenge is to get uh, our elected officials to uh, realize the importance of maintaining our parks in order to uh, protect our capital investments that we're making up in the next 10 years. Um, and with up our other challenges such as climate change, it's imperative that we invest now in order to protect our future. This isn't the first time park lovers have tried to increase the budget for green space. Back in 2001, there was a campaign to lobby the city council for 1% of the budget for parks. In 2018, Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams made the same 1% pledge of roughly $385 million. Both campaigns were aggressive but unsuccessful. You know the last time the expense budget had more than 1%? Despite the low budget percentage, some progress has been made. In 2014, Parks Department kicked off a four-year joint program with City Parks Foundation to support 1,355 community parks group and 98,000 volunteers. In 2010, $900 million was put into a decade-long program to reimagine and refurbish historic architectures and statues in New York parks. Earlier this year, it has been confirmed that this program could be extended to 2024 if the state approved the additional $110 million proposed for the fiscal year starting April the 1st. This is a $20 million increase from what Parks Department usually gets. However, campaigners say this is far from enough. In 2015, the Parks Department estimated the backlog at $1.1 billion. Three years later, close to six billion US dollars would be needed, according to a study by Urban Future Center. The study also found that almost half of New York parks, averagely 73 years old, had outdated drainage that caused flooding. Moreover, there are only 150 gardeners citywide, 27 electricians, 11 maintenance staff assigned to marinas, and one carpenter to cover 148 miles of coastline. The budget for parks usually increases after negotiations, but the campaign is still in its early stage. The Playfair Coalition was formed by New Yorkers for Parks, Council Member Barry Grodentrick, Chair of the Parks Committee, the New York League of Conservation Voters, and DC 37 Parks Workers Union. It hopes that the rally can show decision makers that parks deserve significant public investment in maintenance operations, and park problems need to be tackled not being kicked into the long grass. Sizewood, China America Radio, City Hall, New York.